Loneliness and grief can be the catalyst for great stories. Like the smile that fades after the hotel maid walks away. Or the fear that stays when a pilot falls into their 36th hour of being awake. or the acclaimed composer who finds inspiration within the chaos of a crowded cafe on the brink of gentrification. And as much as, much as isolation is a sign of social dysfunction, and not always a choice. It is nearly impossible, nearly impossible to predict the arrival time of sorrow birthed from being invisible. Like the clock, the clock you forgot you had set last Sunday at 6 a.m. For some god awful reason. And on this particular Sunday, all you wanted to do was sleep in. But you once again found yourself up out of bed before the birds can give thanks to a life giving sun. If only. If only we had observable purpose beyond our surface. Like chatty children in a lobby. Or scattered marbles in a sandbox. Together, we could scribe these poems together. Record them as dark mementos stored in film rolls. Sit opposite the set of rituals that turn us from victor to victims, superiors to subjects, directing the lens so that the sun flares upon our worst nightmares. and relive them, relive them only to bring light to the spaces where loneliness and grief become old stories begging to be told so that they can be let go.